one thing that I think that makes a good tattoo is making a tattoo more readable from a distance. So, like you can still tell exactly what it is from a couple of paces away. And then when you get up close, it still holds all the details that you want it to hold, instead of getting stuck solely in one part of the tattoo. For instance, if you was in a gallery, you would spot something from a distance, a piece of artwork, and then you're not sure why, whether it be the contrast or the composition, and then you go in closer to check the details. Um, a good way of studying this would be to take a picture of it on your phone and then looking at a small scale, just so you can see all the, all the levels. So I think it's important to consider the area that you've got to work with. Um, I think if you've got a nice big canvas that you can work with, then go big, um, fill the area, um, yeah, use the area to its full potential. Um, yeah, and just utilise it the best you can. Um, yeah, bigger the better, in my opinion. The more detail that you can get in stuff, um, and just the more life that you can put in it. So, yeah, bigger is better. I feel like the, f the feeling is paramount in a tattoo. That's what would make it good, uh, or, or anything above good. Um, however, I'm sure, I'm sure that other people have said something like that, haven't they? So, I want to say placement also, like an interesting placement uh, on the body, um, or a use of the, of the space, I think is quite, quite good, and that will make a good tattoo. I also like it when uh, old tattoos are used uh, and incorporated into new things. Uh, that is something else that I think makes a good tattoo. Um, so not only use of space on the body, but also um, with whatever else is currently there, I think is interesting. Um, what makes a good tattoo? I think that's a really subjective question because um, Everyone's completely different, everyone likes completely different things. It's like you're taking a Renaissance artist into the Tate Modern and saying, you like this stuff, right? <laughs> um, I think, <laughs> I can tell you what makes a bad tattoo. Uh, I think when you don't really have a good connection between client and artist, uh, you tend not to really get the best outcome. I think um, each artist has their own sort of style and when they're not doing, um, when they're being forced to do stuff or try and take on stuff that isn't their style, I think so there's certain things that are expected of, like, I think, <laughs> Some people come in and expect you to do something that you can't do and people uh, get upset when you say you can't do it or it's not your style but then it's not going to be a ta good tattoo if that's not your style. So look, my tattoos are all about being emotive. Um, it's important for me that the tattoo expresses a lot of emotions um, and I invest a lot into doing the designs because I want that to come across I want I want the emotions to come across in the work I feel it's important to be in the right frame of mind when doing the designs so that I can get those raw feelings and emotions across in the tattoo all right I am um... I think it's really hard to talk about what makes a good tattoo without bringing personal taste into it because you've got to kind of disassociate both of them because you can uh, not really like something but still appreciate it for being a good tattoo. I think for me, one thing that always speaks through um, tattoo work is when the artist has really enjoyed it. I think if there's a good kind of artist-customer relationship, it really shows. I think. Um, if, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then it's really visible in the work. So I think that can make a good tattoo. I think a perfect example is, say, I do a lot of colour work, but then I can totally appreciate good, solid black work. One example is the tattoos me and Kaylee got in Italy. Um, something really small, simple, 
uh, explicit, but they're good tattoos because the artist loved it, we loved it, it was a great experience, and it shows in the work. The same goes for like Luke's tattoo, which is bold, uh, black. It might not be to everyone's taste, but it's a great tattoo because it's what the artist specializes in. He loves it, Luke loves it, and it shows on his sleeve 100%. I think when I do work, uh, or when I did used to do work that maybe I didn't enjoy as much as others, I think it is visible. Maybe not to the customer, but to myself. So it's hard to speak from a customer's point of view. This is just as an artist. So when I was quite early on tattooing, or beforehand as well, I'd always be quite worried about the subject matter and things like that. And Not worried, but that would be the thing that would attract me to a piece. Especially when people would come in and actually ask for things that I thought would be cool things to tattoo. That would be the issue. That would be like the, the fun thing for me. That, that that would make me want to do the tattoo. But now I'm a lot more worried about the feeling of the tattoo and trying to make that the main thing rather than what it's of. So I feel like I don't really mind what the picture's of anymore. It's a lot more of um, yeah the feeling it's going to convey. Right. So for me, a good tattoo. Hmm, interesting question. I like geez, so many things, but I like good composition. Um, I like an interesting composition. Now that doesn't have to be too technical or too crazy. Um, one of the things, or two of the things, first one that springs to my mind um, that I like to remember when I'm making a tattoo is I like, just in life in general, I like to simplify the situation. So I like to take something and try and boil it down to its essence. I don't want to overcomplicate it. So trying to simplify the situation always seems like a good way to deal with a problem anyway. And you know, So I like that to come out of my art. And then I like kind of, it's a similar type of approach, but I like to, to find the peace or tranquility in a chaotic situation. So sometimes that means, um, in terms of uh, doing a tattoo design, I was going to say it seems a bit rich for me to say I don't like things too complicated when some of my designs are crazy complicated with things overlaying um, all kinds of stuff. But I'm very conscious about not trying to take that too far and overdo it. I like to take that complicated thing and simplify it somewhat. So I, I there's many things that make a good tattoo, but for me, I quite am very interested in uh, composition.